This is Kyron Mayfield with your News in 90. Gainesville residents celebrate the life of Martin Luther King Jr. Hundreds braved the cold weather Monday to attend the annual holiday kickoff that is celebrated in many communities across the country. The theme this year was preparing for future challenges. In Gainesville, Keeper of the Dream Scholarship Award winner and PK Young student Anthony Harge spoke at the event. He encouraged the crowd to remember the issues central to the civil rights movement that are still present today, along with calling for unity. A march followed the kickoff. Supporters walked on East University Avenue until they reached the King Center. St. Petersburg police continue to search for the suspect in an MLK Day shooting. Two people were killed and one injured from a shooting at a party after the city's MLK Day Dream Big Parade. Taiwan Jeremiah Armstrong and Roger Lee Ford Jr. were pronounced dead at the hospital. Another victim is in stable condition. Around 100 people were gathered at a gas station when gunshots fired at the group. Police believe the men were targeted, not the King Day celebrations. So far, no arrests have been made. New restrictions on transgender people in the U.S. military go into effect. The Supreme Court lifted injunctions that kept the Trump administration's policy from being implemented. It also reversed a rule under the Obama administration that would have allowed transgender people to join the military. The new ruling prevents those who identify with a different gender than the one assigned at birth from joining. There was 9,000 service members who identified as transgender in 2016. The decision is facing backlash from the LGBT community. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.